Hey friends, it's me Stace. Uh, today I thought I would share with you guys the yard tour. I did do a mobile home tour yesterday. I will link that video below and as well as in the cards above. So as, as I said, we live on an acre of property. Uh, this is the front yard where I am. I wanna show you, and I'm gonna try to insert as many before and after pictures as I can. But the fence you see here, the wooden fence, Hubby and I built that. It just, he, I think he had like what they call a cattle fence. It wasn't like a chain link fence. It was just a loose, um, like a loose chicken wire type fence. Uh, we took that down and we built that one. And then we also uh, framed out the driveway. We had the rock delivered. Um, the azalea bush there, um, I think I showed you that before. The, uh, the, it was like 16 foot wide. It was humongous. So we cut all that out, trimmed it down. Uh, there was also a tree there. I think there was maybe four or five trees there actually. And Hubby cut all those down. All right, so this is the front yard. We have two large pecan trees. Um, that one over there next to the truck, on the, the one farthest away, we're gonna end up cutting that one down. Um, it's just not in the best shape. Then we have the front of the house. I absolutely love the color. And then all the um, landscape timbers, Hubby and I added as well as all the rock. We had another truckload delivered with the rock and we added more rock here. Um, all these plants came from HSN. The, these three over here are known as the hardy hibiscus and these four are the luna hibiscus as i said the deck we had somebody um, bring that over from our house from our old house to this house we didn't have to put a deck on i do want to make the deck a little bit bigger and also have an awning on that arch because it does get sunny out here and then we have the pond hubby got me the pond for mother's day um, many 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 years ago absolutely love it uh, these two plants here are gardenias they smell absolutely delicious then we have the well building um that's really good you know where the, where the pump is for the water um, that was in really bad shape it was all aluminum so i'm going to see again if i can find a before and after picture and all the stuff on the outside is um our water system you know like water softener chlorine thing or a dechlorinator salt all that and again we added all the landscape timbers here with the rocks oh and there's a lizard i'm gonna show you guys inside here but we added all the shiplap that's what that that's what that looks like you know we were going to add a flooring on the bottom of that we might still do that later on but right now it looks like that oh, that might be okay do you guys see that i think that's a snake skin Ooh. I have to show them. Zoom in, make sure there's not a snake. Yep, I think that's a snake skin. Oh, okay, we're gonna close that up and show Hubby that. <gasps> oh, and the lizards. Oh gosh. Okay. And then we have the front of the shed. Um, this was an absolute mess. It was all particle board to where you can actually poke your finger through it. Um, and when we bought the property, there was a single wide mobile home on here that we had torn down and we kept all the siding and put that up here. Hubby and I built the doors. I'm gonna take you guys inside the shed. It's not completely organized, but make sure there's no lizards and things moving in here. All right, so this is, it's like three sections. Um, this section here is all um, like lawn equipment, like Hubby's mower, the wagon, regular mower, shovels, wheelbarrow, all that kind of stuff. This is all storage. And then this side over here is gonna get dark. Um, this side over here is Hubby's tools and that does need to get organized let me take you guys back out and i showed you guys the deck and all along here is the herb garden um, they're all doing really good except for the thyme so we have basil um, basil curly parsley that was where the thyme was parsley dill oregano chives sage and rosemary and these are all um, the flowers here are the hibiscus flowers, and then we have three mums over there. Uh, this hubby built for my clothesline, um, because I don't like, I like hanging clothes out, but I hate going in the shed to, dig, um, to get it, so we keep it on the deck and he'll just put the clothesline in there so I can hang clothes up. All right, the outside of the shed, um, again, um, we took down all the existing particle board because it was all rotted, and we added what they call hardy board. And then hubby used the paint sprayer to paint it he also added a light here he also ran electrical wires here so his side of the shed the tool part does have electricity as far as lights and um outlets then we have one here 
And then we have our garden. Um, as I, sh I said before, we have peppers to or tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, squash, and watermelon. Now we did not know when we planted this how much the watermelon was spread or the cucumber, um, but they're doing okay. You know, we already had a few squash come off and a few tomatoes and peppers. Uh, the cucumbers, I guess, take longer as well as the watermelon. All right, then we have uh, this tree. We believe it's a lemon tree. Uh, we've had it, uh, the previous owner said it was like three years old. Um, I don't know when it's going to produce lemons or if it ever will. It might not even be a lemon tree. I'm not quite sure. Um, this is an avocado tree. Looks like just a stick in the ground, but it is an avocado tree. Of all these things, these aloe things um, came from our old house. I think we brought like three over and then they all just kind of sprouted. And they have these, some of them have these, these weird stalky things coming out of them. You can see that one there. I'm not sure why that is. And then you can see the back of the shed. That's pretty much what the front of the shed looked like. Um, that bad. So our goal is to do that this summer, but we want to get rid of all this wood first. Um, all that would be remember was way over there by the pond. Uh, we want to get rid of all the wood and then work on the shed versus moving the wood, work on the shed to put the wood back. It'll just be silly to do it that way. Uh, the fire pit, Hubby and I made that. It was a little bit taller, but we didn't like it that tall. So we just shoved some of the bricks over there. But we do use the fire pit pretty much every weekend. And all this over here, if you can see, um, that was all like that. It was all, you cannot even see through there. And again, I'm going to see if I can find before and after pictures. Because it's like amazing, the difference in the property. I'm going to take you guys back here to the pond. Now, when we first got to property, it only had like a four foot opening to where you can see the pond. The girls are going to come running back here. Um... The pond is empty, as I said, May and June is the, is the driest months here. So the pond looks like just green sludge. But I'll show you that. It's a good size pond. Um, our neighbor, oh, see that frog. Our neighbor has a pond as well. And he said when they put, when they dug for his pond, they dug deep enough to where they can hit water. So probably either this weekend or next weekend, depending on the weather, we're going to go in the pond and dig to see if we hit water. That would be a self-feeding pond or self-watering. It'll always have water in it. Um, so I do enjoy the pond. And then we, you know, we have to clear it all out, trim it all out. This over here, um, this tree cluster was all poison ivy. I mean, it was like loaded with poison ivy. So I came back here and sprayed These vines, these are, um, they're poison ivy vines and we were pulling on them. We had no idea. Sticker bushes everywhere. So you can see the top of that tree is all dead. So um, you want to get in there and clear the rest of that out. And then there, I guess there was a tree there at one point. And all the stuff we found in this yard is crazy. Like we found um, a, like a love seat cushion um fencing all balled up we found all kinds of glass we found i mean this stuff was buried it's crazy all right this is the other side of the pond uh, before you cannot even access this this is all over here was all filled with trees hubby, uh, um, hubby came in and chopped them all down and we're starting to make a path so where we can go across you know around the pond that's the goal is to be able to go around the pond completely. He only has about 10 foot to go, so maybe he might work on that this weekend. Then again, get in here and clear all these branches out. These all came from when he cut the trees down. Uh, but, you know, our goal is to clear a path all the way around the pond and then get like little stepping stones to walk on at, with um, solar lighting. So it'll be kind of lit up. And I'll take you guys on the other side of the pond. There's all kinds of things moving. I'm not a critter person, so I gotta keep an eye out for things jumping. So, so far we've seen lizards, snake skin, and a bunch of frogs. There's all kinds of frogs. If you look, can you see them all? Must be like frog baby season, but they're like everywhere. See them? You're just moving everywhere. 
All right, so he did clear a path back here. That's where our neighbor's pond is. And his is not completely filled with water, but obviously way more water than our pond has. Um, so the plan with the fence, I wanna take the fence down and we're gonna put the fence on this side of the pond here. Um, we're not gonna use that fence though because it's all cemented in. So we're gonna build the same type fence we did in the front yard the wooden fence back here because it'll give us a little bit more flexibility and then take the chain off of that and attach it to back here this way the girls can't get back there um, the property goes maybe i don't know maybe 20 maybe 30 feet past where we are now um, and our plan was to clear it all out but if i showed you how bad it was back there with all the overgrown brush i mean you can see it this at one point was clear because back there is a big mound, probably about four foot tall. It's a hard mound like, like this, but there's a big hole in the middle. So I'm guessing critters live back there. And I don't know if you can see it, but um, can you see that sideways tree? Um, that tree broke, I don't even know, a few weekends ago. Um, so it's just like just dangling there. And I don't want to go back there and work on that and take trees down and deal with that big tree because that is like a humongously large tree. So we're going to put the fence here and just let all that do whatever it wants to do. Not even go back there and worry about it. Um, Dinah, hey, get out of there. Yeah, she would go in the pond if I let her. But I don't know what's in there. You know, we already had one turtle come out of it before. Dinah, are you chasing frogs? Huh? Come on, get out of there. That's yucky. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. So that's the pond. You know, like I said, we want to put um, papers going around it with solar lighting and um, maybe like a gazebo or a few benches or something to sit back here. So I really do enjoy the pond. I enjoy feeding the fish, um, but we need, we need to clear it all out. We do plan on putting a fountain in there and aerating it, depending on if we can't, if we can dig and get water, we don't, we don't need to aerate it because the water will do that for us. But, um, you know, get a skimmer and skim all this stuff up. So this weekend, our goal is to work in the pond a little bit. So maybe I'll film that for you as well. But come on, Dana. Good girl. Um, that's the property. Absolutely love it. I love that the fact that the girls can just be out here on their own thing, do their own thing. I'm not worried about a leash or them knocking me down because we see a cat or something we have seen cats in the yard um not actually in this yard i've seen them back here uh, there's like two of them that come by we had a duck in the pond not too long ago that was the first time um we've had i seen a fox back here come on dinah come on we seen a fox back there so you know when i when i have the girls back there you gotta be really careful because it's not fully fenced in back there and um, if they go back there and they see a squirrel or a bird or whatever, a cat, they're going to keep on going. So that's why we want to, we want to, we want to put the fence there. Um, let me see if I can show you. Let me, I will, let me show you real quickly. I'm going to close this so the girls can't, so Donna can't get back here. All right, let me show you the tree. I think I showed you before the tree. Uh, there is a fence back here. So the yard is fully fenced in, but again, it's like that, that, um, loose, chain link cattle type fence it's not like a regular chain link fence with the bar on top so it's not a really sturdy fence but back here we were back here you know looking at where the fence was i'm kind of afraid to go back there by myself to be honest but there's the fence is actually right there so that big tree let me see if i can zoom in all right see that pipe whatever that is going diagonal that's where the fence is that's the end of the property and then there's a big tree that came down and landed on the fence and took out about 20 foot of the 20 foot of the fence. Um, so we might temporarily put like construction fencing back there, like the mesh stuff, so the girl, so to, it'll create a physical barrier. Um, there's a hole there. Something's living in there. Um, it'll create a barrier so the girls can't get back there. <clears throat> and then, you know, as I will move this fence back or take the wiring the chain link part off this fence and put it on the foot put it on the wooden fence back there that's the plan right miss dina all righty so there's the yard it's an acre of property and i'm going to try to insert as many before and after pictures as i can i'm going to be a long video to edit uh, this one's already about 15 minutes um 
but yeah, the yard was a mess. Uh, we bought it. We closed on the property November 23rd of 2020, I think, and moved in April. Yeah, moved in April 25th of um, 2021. So we've been here, actually living here a little over a year. And we did the fence out front before we moved in because we wanted to make sure it was, you know, fenced in for the girls. We had that fence put in before we moved in and worked on the shed. Um, the shed was a nightmare. And you can see the roof is pretty bad too. Um, it does leak, the shed. I don't think it leaks as bad as it did before, but um, we definitely need to fix the leak in there. But it's a ginormous size. It'll be perfect to build a house in this because you have all the, the rooms, you know, like you can do over here, you can do like a kitchen, dining area, living area, bathroom, bedroom, and you're good, you know? Um, but yeah, over here in this corner, it leaks. And we believe there was a fire. If you can see, if I can show you the other side. Let me show you the other side. We believe there was a fire, but none of our neighbors, I guess they weren't here when there was a fire, but you can see all the wood up there is all charred. But yeah, all this we added. I want to do the same exact thing for the back of the shed. All kinds of critters and stuff moving around. All right, so I think I covered everything, guys. Again, I'm going to edit the video, try to find as many before and after pictures as I possibly can. Um, and we'll go from there. So any questions, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.